Welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Katie Parks alongside Quentin Talbert. Today we have updates on your favorite fall sports from the past week. The Lady Ravens gymnastics teams was flipping out Wednesday night as they opened up their season at Shawnee Mission Northwest. The ladies battled out against the Cougars, Olathe West, Olathe East, and DeSoto. Holly Robertson took third place in the floor exercise. Check out Raven Daily website for more results and highlights from the meet. The volleyball team on the was back on the road Tuesday night to celebrate Lindsay Heller's birthday and to participate in the try at Shawnee Mission Northwest. The evening started out a little rough as the girls dropped their opening match against the Gardner Edgerton Jailblazers. Didn't the Trailblazers realize they were spoiling Lindsay's birthday bash? But the Lady Ravens bounced back in the night cap to be defeating the Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest. In the three games, the girls are back to in action tonight at 6 p.m. at Shawnee Mission South. The boys soccer team played Park Hill South last Thursday in the 38th Olathe Tournament. In the first game, the Ravens shredded the Panthers 3-1. Owen W. got goals from Gabriel James, Brock Baker, and Chase Kluzman. In the championship game, the Ravens faced off against Ray Peck. Goals from Dylan Cooper, Tanner Schinkel, Chase Kluzman, and Gabriel James led the Ravens to a 4-1 victory to become the champions of the 38th Olathe Tournament. Wednesday, the Ravens soccer team took a hard loss versus Washburn Rule, dropping their record to 2-2. Two two. Junior forwards Gabriel Hamas scored the first and only goal for the Ravens, but the Blues came back strong and tied the game 1-1 before half. Scoreless in the second half for the, both teams, the game went into overtime, and unfortunately the Ravens dropped a tough one to Blues 2-1. Two to the boys' next game is Tuesday against Shawnee Mission South at Seaback at 7. The girls' golf team teed off Tuesday at Milburn Country Club, leading the Ravens was Victoria Klosner. With a score of 85, placing fifth, the girls' team placed seventh overall. Their next tournament is the 19th at Overland Park Golf Course. The cross-country team competed in their first meet last Thursday at JCCC. The girls' team finished third overall, led by Lydia McLaughlin, Leah Wellman, and Ashton Dade, placing third, fifth, and 11th individually. On the boys' side, they placed fifth as a team. Top finishers include Andrew Tracy, Brian Kitter, and Logan Reed, placing 22nd, 23rd, and 27th. The cross-country team competes next at ODAC for the Twilight Meet this Saturday. The Raven football team squared off against the Manhattan Indians last Friday, playing in front of their home crowd. The Indians came out energized and controlled most of the game. The Ravens got their first touchdown of the season when Bryce Johnson snuck into the end zone in the fourth quarter. The final score was 42-7. Owen W's next game is against the Olathe South Friday night at Seaback at 7. That's it for your sports update. Now back to the desk. 